What's up YouTube? Doing this video a little differently. Um, before I usually open up the shoes on the on the spot, but um, I don't know. Decided to change things up and give a quick sh shoe review in uh, in the bathroom in the in the crib. So I feel like there's better lighting here. So in a way, it's kind of better for me to do this in the bathroom. But let me go. Let me go. Yeah, uh, twisting my words up. Let me go show the shoes real quick, give you guys a full review of um, how the shoe looks like. I just got this today, and um, I'm seeing this for the first time, just like you guys. Well, I've seen them, like I just opened it five minutes ago, but um, this is the first time I've seen it because um, I, I just got it today. So I didn't even lace these, these joints up. I didn't even try them on. I'm about to after I make this video, but let me just make this video real quick. So yeah, the shoe is all gold, side panels gold, swoosh is gold with a red border on the side. Um, yeah, the, the the side panel is, I don't know what, like, what type of material, I guess you could say it's leather. It's like the same material that you have on the Money Cats. And that same material is also on the toe box and on the back. The back has like some grid lines, it's like a checkered um, pattern going on, and that's gold as well, the same material. And the toe box and the side panel by the laces, and right here by the tabs, that's all suede. Not new books, all suede. Um, very good quality shoe, um, suede feels really soft. And I, I like the, the double swoosh. I think that's a good bonus. Um, I've always been a fan of that for some reason, but that's just my own preference. And the side has gold stitching. You can't really see it in the video. And the bottom, it's gum sole. But like, it's not just any gum sole. Eric Costin said that he wanted these shoes to have like a certain grip on the ground and that's why you have the gum sole and it feels good it feels sticky it feels like it has a lot of grip and um, I really don't skate to be honest with you I wear my dunks uh, casually so I wouldn't know but for skaters I guess this would be a good shoe because of the bottom alone very clean shoe oh let me go over the, the tongue as well um, swoosh right here is blue I guess royal blue, then the red Nike SB, and it has the red border on top of the tongue. And in the inside, it says something in the insole. Let me turn this upside down for you guys. You guys could see that. I can't really see it. I'm looking at the camera, not really inside the shoe. And that's in the insole. And it comes with these beige laces. Gold laces are on them, and then there's beige. I might go with the beige ones just to like take away from the all gold going on, but we'll see. I'm gonna put these laces on one shoe and then leave these on the other just to see how it looks like. I'm not gonna wear it out like that, but just to get a better look of which one looks better. So, give me guys, so guys, just give me your opinion. Um, drop a comment in the comment box and let me know which laces would you prefer and what would you put on, on um, your cost and dunk would you put the beige ones or the gold ones if you guys already have these shoes already and um, what else get yeah, my thoughts on the shoe I think it's a really good shoe probably one of my favorite blue boxes um, so far one of my favorites my favorites is still the Gucci's even though the Gucci's are not all that good quality, it's still a nice overall good looking shoe. Now, I'm hoping that this shoe has good quality. I haven't tried them on yet, but I hear that the back has more cushion, has more support. The Gucci's did not have that, and I'm hoping that these shoes do. Um, I'm gonna try them on after I make this video, lace them up, and then I'll let you guys know in the description box how these feel on feet and give you um, my thoughts and my opinions. Very clean shoe, dope shoe. I, I would recommend, highly, highly recommend copying this shoe if you haven't done so already. 
It's a very clean shoe, not only that, but it's one of the best blue boxes in my opinion. And I would not sleep on this shoe. If you sleep on this shoe, and a year or two down the line, the prices will go up on these. And that's why I said like I wouldn't pass them up because you could right now, you could get them for retail or close to retail or maybe a little above retail. But I know like in a year or two from now that these are going to be hard to find and they're not going to be cheap. So if you're thinking about it, if you're on the fence, I'd say cop them. It's a very, very nice shoe. Quality is really, it's pretty good actually as far as the new book and the gold and just everything about it. And I, I highly recommend getting the shoe. But those are my thoughts on the Clawson Dunks. And yeah, I'm going to be out y'all. I'm going to try to lace these um, joints up and see how they look on feet. So I'm out y'all. Just rate, comment, subscribe. I'm out. Peace.